my kids are coming home singing a different language than what I grew up singing. And if you think about everybody being, they're right here all the time, all day, what influence does that have on us uh, day in and day out as to what kind of music that we create? What we found is that like when we walk into a coffee shop or uh, a department store that we see this huge influence of the digital on music and how music is consumed and how music is made is increasingly digital. And we feel like there are emotions that we can access through some of these means digitally, electronically, and expressing that in a way that is ex accessible for people because they're already hearing it in, in culture. It's not something that would come from like left field or whatever. It's something that people are already hearing, but the church is behind in expressing that, expressing that musically. So what we're after here at Vineyard Cleveland is simply reflecting the culture that we live and speaking a language that's already being spoken, not for cultural relevance sake, but just to express something that's already happening. We think that for so long, you know, in church, it was an old lady at an organ, and there's nothing wrong with an old lady at the organ. And then the vineyard comes along, and now worship can be an acoustic guitar and simple songs. And there's nothing wrong with acoustic guitar and simple songs, but we feel like we're at the same sort of moment now, digitally, that there are textures and emotions that we're, as the church, missing out on because of different reasons, because we're not we don't have the resources to access access the new synth patches, or maybe it's fear. We're afraid to express the avant-garde in church, and we think that synthesizer or keyboards or launch pads or buttons would be expressing that. So we'd lose people if we in our church. We'd lose people, and what we're saying at our church is that you won't. You'll actually find freedom, and you'll actually find blessing in expressing what the, the language that the culture is already speaking. The trick is expressing this in worship in a way that people can feel. It feels like in the church right now that there are there's a limited range of emotional expression during worship. You're allowed to feel maybe two different kinds of emotion. We're either happy clappy, four on the floor, kick drum, Let's get going for Jesus, 10 a.m. on Sunday morning, and that's allowed and that's acceptable. Or it's like the fourth song in the set, and we have to be right here in repentance and sad, emotional, I love you, Jesus, pouring it out in worship. And those are fine expressions, but those are the only two that you're allowed to feel. What about joy? What about joy that's been tested through the fire of loss and some hurt in your life and expressing that emotion through a synth texture or patch that ex allows you and frees you up to feel a wider range of emotion than what the church, the people of God are currently experiencing on Sunday mornings. That's all we're trying to say is like, let's open up to, let's open up our range of what we can feel and what we can express during our times of gathered worship. That's it.